In a world full of videos on YouTube that are constantly just getting churned out in regards to the shiny new altcoin, this coin's going to make millions, this coin's going to do 100x, I'm sure you've heard the videos, you've seen the videos, you've seen the titles, the cringy thumbnails, etc. I'm making this video for you to concentrate on one specific aspect of crypto. And that is, and I've said this before in more videos, but I just want to have a you know kind of deep dive on it. It is not the coin you buy, it is what you do with it. Okay? I'll just say that again. It's not the coin you buy, it's what you do with it. So if you've got a set of altcoins at the moment that are fairly half decent, but it's obviously not the bull market full on yet, everything's not going crazy. You're probably looking around and you're seeing, you know, some meme coins going crazy over here, a random coin over here going crazy, and you're thinking, oh, I've got the wrong coin, I need to get into this, I need to get into that. You know, Crypto Bro on YouTube is telling me that these five coins are going to go to a million, even though he's just doing it for views on YouTube. Um, oh, he's got paid to promote them. What you need to focus on is, I'm going to give you a bit of an example now, and I've, you know, kind of discussed this before. In the last bull run, a lot of things went crazy, okay? In the last bull run was 2021. A lot of coins went crazy. The majority of them did a fairly decent return, despite them having, you know, different use cases, different teams, different chains, etc. okay? And what that means is it is a lot down to you in terms of when you buy a coin and what you do with it. So, in the last bull run, a few things happened. There was a point in time where uh, uh, some people got into a coin called Luna. It's called Luna Classic. Now, have a look at the chart. Luna was... <laughs> it's hard to explain what it was, but it, it was a coin that was... Uh, within the same ecosystem as its uh, stablecoin, UST. And you could earn 20% on it on another protocol. But anyway, the coin was around $5, and a lot of people were buying it at this price because a lot of people were getting into it via Celsius Network. And this coin went from $5 to $120, okay? So quite a big, a big jump. However... Around the time it hit $120, the stablecoin unpegged and had a knock-on effect to the actual coin, Luna, and it just plummeted to below $1. It's like so many cents. So a lot of people lost a lot of money. However, there would have been two different types of people that had that coin. Ones that would have made a lot of money and ones that would have lost a lot of money. Okay. But the difference was the one person that made money, let's go to the person that lost money. The person that lost money would have had that coin from $5, let it ride all the way up, thinking that it's going to keep on going, and then it would have gone all the way back down. They've had the unrealized gains up, not taken profits, and then just fell off a cliff. The other person would have had profit targets in place, and would have taken profit targets laddering out all the way up. $5, $10, $20, $30, etc., etc. Would have made a rate return, would have cashed out, and would have actually made money. Now, what you've got to think is, and that's just you know, an example of how it's not the coin, it's what you do with it, because there's two, two ends of the tail with that coin. It did really well, but then it crashed. But if you had the middle bit of it and you laddered out then you would have been fine you could have the best coin in the world you know a coin that you've done all the research on it goes absolutely crazy in the bull run it does a 20 30 x but if you don't do anything with it and you don't actually ladder out take profits then you ain't going to make money and i do talk about this all the time we have weekly calls in my crypto masterclass program Link in the description if you want to find it more. And we talk about this all the time. And, you know, pe people 
focus too much on the next super coin, the next altcoin, the next, you know, coin that's going to go crazy. But if you just look at your own coins and you look at the average price of your own coins, why not set some profit targets for the coins you've got? Ladder out, set a particular strategy. The one I teach is the laddering out strategy based on the bull run calculator that I use. And if you do that rather than just, you know, finding a new coin to buy, sure, this new new coin could go crazy. But if you're not taking profits as it goes up, you're not making money. In the last bull run, I made a mistake particularly, and I always reference this, with a coin called Elrond. This coin went up. I saw the unrealized gains. I did not have profit targets, so I didn't take profits on that particular coin which was my biggest holding at the time and I lost out another person may have taken profits on Bitcoin didn't go up as high but because they took profit profits on it they would have made money so you see what I'm saying don't always think that you need to get into a coin that goes crazy if you think of the average rate of return of a 10x on a coin if you take profit targets on that coin then you're going to do better than the person who had the 100x coin who never took, took profits. Always remember that. So, although it's not fashionable, although it's not, you know, um, the shiny new coin, just look at the coins you've got and just set some profit targets because then, if you do, you're going to be better off than 99% of the people out there. All right, you're going to see on Twitter... The person that put a thousand dollars in and hit a million. If it did happen, it's once in, you know, one in a thousand, one in ten thousand that it does happen. But you need to be aware that it's not always about the new coin. Look at your existing coins and if you have a plan for them, you will be far better off in making a plan than just buying new coins every single time and when you're buying the new coins all you're doing is creating a new tax tax event all you're doing then is just going around in a continuous cycle of buying a new coin buying a new coin buying a new coin buying a new coin and that's that's what a lot of people do in crypto unfortunately i see it all the time people consistently buying new coins where they can just look at their existing coins that they have set some price targets and then when it goes up take profits Everything usually goes up in the bull market. Things go up at diff different rates. That's why you have different coins from different sectors. But ultimately, the main thing you need to concentrate on is profit targets and actually taking those profits in the bull run rather than just see it go all the way up and then drop off a cliff, which, you know, it will happen to a lot of people guaranteed in the upcoming bull run. That's it for me today. If you do like my content, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys very soon.